Mrs. Calhoun says it was her husband's charm that set a fire in her heart, but it was his cheating that made her set fire to his clothes. Today on Divorce Court. All rise. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Hello, everyone. You may be seated. Your Honor, the case of Calhoun v. Calhoun. Thank you very much, Mrs. Calhoun, Mr. Calhoun. It's a pleasure to have you here in Divorce Court. And welcome, everyone, doing? to Divorce Court. Today, we are looking at the case of Calhoun versus Calhoun, a married couple, as I understand, who've been together for six years, married for three years. Mrs. Calhoun, why are we in court today? I'm here today to divorce my husband. Oh, you him... ready? Yes, I am. I've given him chance after chance. It doesn't work. He is a liar. He's a cheater. He is also has anger issues. Um, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just ready to go ahead and get these papers signed so I can go ahead and hit this dating scene and give our kids a new daddy. You ready? Yes, I am. So I have to tell you, Mr. Calhoun, rarely do I hear a wife come in and say, I'm ready to go look for the next. Mm -hmm. Not only do I want to get rid of the present, I am already looking towards the future. So I know that you all have a four-year-old together and you have blended a family of children from previous relationships. So there's some stakes here. What do you say to your wife's allegations? Well, I'm here to fight for our marriage. I mean, growing up, I was adopted, so I'm big on family. I want to keep our family together, keep it strong. So that's why I'm here to kind of try to rekindle that. So big on family usually means you place family as a high priority for yourself. Is that correct, yes, sir? Yes, I do. So let me see if you've been placing it as a high priority in the past. I'll go to you, Mrs. Calhoun. Why don't you take me back to how you all first met and what got us here to divorce court? So we first met. We lived in the same neighborhood. Um, I was dog sitting at the time, and my dog actually jumped inside of his car. And that's how we started talking. So we... the dog picked the man? Yes, okay. my dog did. Mm -hmm. Pick the man. So you were together for six years. Mm -hmm. and you had a baby before you got married. Yes. But then got married pretty soon after. Yes. Mm hmm. Yes. So tell me about that proposal and the wedding. So the proposal was beautiful. We was in front of all of my friends and my family. We came down to visit my mother. Aww. And it was it was magical. He did it in front of family and friends? He did. He did it in front of all my family and my friends. Yeah, yeah. Way to go. All right, now. Thank you. Yeah. Mr. Calhoun being player, player, I like that. Okay. All right, so how'd it go so wrong? So I had a, a taxi account. At the time, I wasn't able to do it myself. Oh, okay. Like one of the ride share accounts? Yeah. Okay. Like one of those. So I had my husband do it for me. Okay. Um, he was doing it for a while, and then one day, we were asleep, and I, his phone just kept vibrating. I didn't think nothing of it. I kind of just silenced the notification. Then it happened again. It's, at this point, it's 3 in the, in the morning. It was a number that he had got from a ride. Um, I proceeded to wake him up with a bucket of water because <laughs> he wouldn't wake up. Corey, is that the way your wife wake you up? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. And I proceeded to ask him questions, and he told me that, uh... You know, it was just... He was just trying to get some cash rise for his, you know, his, his clientele. First of all, I care about her because when she threw the water on me, I reached for her to tell her we was drowning. I he thought did. we was drowning. And I told him we wasn't. She's I standing over me with I the fuck. I said, we wasn't drowning. You are. You're drowning. I miss you, Y'all were really asleep if you just... We were. Oh, but the, the only... The, the kissy face thing that... I don't know where that came from. That was just out the blue. I don't know. Maybe... I mean, can you look at me? You know, just, Kissy faces come out of nowhere sometimes. So, no, wait, no. but, 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 you... Is this a random person? A random person. That's what he said. It's a random person. I didn't know her. He said it was a random person at first, but then it became to, oh, she's just, she's just a, a, a writer, and she may need some cash rides, so I took her information so she can hit me. So, what, did you put any boundaries there to say I'm married and... This is about riding, and, well, I and I don't mean riding. Put any boundaries on it because she already poured water on me. It was over with from that point. And that's point. not the only. That's not the only time. I was trying to make some money for our family. That that's the reason out. why I was. I want to hear about this other cheating incident because clearly this is something that's been hanging there. That's why we're here in court. I can tell. He had a best friend at the time um, that he asked if she could come stay with us. It was a woman. It was a woman. 
We had a discussion. He asked me if I ever done anything with my best friends. I do have male best friends. I okay. told him no. We proceeded with that spy. Uh, she was supposed to be coming to visit. Wait a minute, I want to be clear with the facts. Yes. You have some male best friends, he has some female best friends. Yes. You both friends. have discussion yes. about your opposite sex best friends and whether or not you all had been previously intimate yes. with them. Am I correct? Yes. And your opposite sex male best friends you have not been intimate with. Am I correct? Correct. And he told you his opposite sex best friend. Yes. He had not been intimate with. Yes. And yes. this is somebody who came to live in your home. Yes. Okay. Yes. And what happened? A few weeks went by. Everything was great. We built a great relationship, me and her. Um, great relationship with my daughter. Everything was perfect. But some time goes by, and I'm at the grocery store with my friend, and my friend asks me if I know what's going on in the house. And I tell her no. And she proceeds to tell me that... Bree and David are sleeping together and have been sleeping together the whole time. So I proceeded to call him. He denies it. I called her. She denies it. And I tell her to pretty much have her stuff packed by the time I get back. I get there. She's sitting there. She's quiet. She says nothing. She packs her stuff and she leaves. But when she leaves, she does send me a text, sending me an apology, pretty much explaining her, her side of everything. Yeah. So in other hmm. words, she just confessed to using you, being in your home. Yeah, and... I submitted some documents to the court, too. Let me see this evidence. Oh, it's in a text. I apologize that you had to find out this way. I really didn't mean to hurt you in any way. First of all, she delusional. It's been going on for a while. I didn't know how to end it. And Mrs. Calhoun responds, girl, bye. <laughs> you were literally living in our, and I can imagine, house. <laughs> I'm so sorry. So-and-so you and that so-and-so, y'all both trifling as hell. I would agree. Mm -hmm. uh -uh, no I swear on everything, I didn't mean for it to go this far. Didn't you didn't deserve this. Oh. Side chicks ain't loyal, Mr. Calhoun. First of all, that's not my side chick. That w Listen. Is that a lie? We, we had something before me and Dar. Okay, and I admit that I should have told her about that situation, <laughs> but... Well, I'm sorry, Corey, I just want to be clear. Did you or did you not offer the defendant the opportunity to take a polygraph examination? Oh, they and did. And he said he didn't want to take a polygraph <laughs> examination. Am I correct? That is correct. What you got to hide, sir? Hey, I mean, first of all... What you hiding? I'm not hiding anything. I, I don't believe in answering questions that, that don't need answering, so... You see why we're here? <laughs> and with all this cheating and turning me into somebody, I didn't even know who I... I didn't even recognize myself. I saw here that something really bad happened. Yes, I burnt this stuff up. I threw his hookah in the lawn. I broke the door down trying to get to him. Which, by the way, I think is completely outrageous over the top, and anybody that turns you into such a toxic person, you don't need to be with. There's been a huge issue as it relates to cheating. Yes. This it whole is. social media thing that ended up with a fire. Tell me about that. <laughs> I received a, a friend request on Snapchat, which is not, this is not odd. I get um, Snapchat requests all the time. But this one was a little different. Uh, <laughs> I was on the phone, I accepted it, and I looked at her message, and it was a lot of subliminal messages referring to my husband. So I called him and I asked him if he knew who this young lady was. He told me no to block her. I didn't because something didn't feel right. This, that's, this was his first response. So I proceeded to look at her messages and she sent me a message of them in the car together, uh, riding around, uh, kissing, hugging. She also sent me cash apps that he had been sending her, which at the time was you know, I was the only one working, so... So he was sending her your money? Yeah. Slow it down. Wait a minute. Now, hold on, now. I wasn't sending her her money, okay? That's the story he still says. Mr. Calhoun, I'd like to find out about this relationship with the random girl on social media that... I mean, she wasn't random. It was somebody from the past, and at this time, we weren't even really you know, engaging like that. I used to want to Netflix and chill. She wanted best friends and thrills. So she would go out, I would be at home, and 
I mean... And with all this cheating, it turned me into somebody I didn't even know who I... I didn't even recognize myself. Like I because said, I, I saw here stuff. that something really bad happened. Yes, I burnt this stuff up. I burnt his things up. I threw his hookah in the lawn. I hung it up in the trees. I broke the door down trying to get to him. I submitted oh. some evidence. Let's see. Oh. Where are you getting this footage from? How do you have this? Let's call evidence. People who are mad. Yes. Yeah, people are mad I and they want I did not to show myself. you what the manifestation of that anger is, which, by the way, I think is completely outrageous, over the top, and anybody that turns you into such a toxic person, you don't need to be with. Yeah. That's it. You just don't need to be with them. I don't understand. Can I just I say one thing? Yes, I'm listening. Okay, I did bring a witness with me. Somebody that could testify. Tell me who the witness is. It's her sister. Testifying on your behalf? Yes. I would like very much to speak with the witness. Mrs. Calhoun seems to think Mr. Calhoun has been catting well, around. Well, maybe if she wasn't complaining all the time. This is also still the same sister that stayed in the house after I moved out. The rumors of y'all being together? Mm, what? <laughs> I'm just not hearing this today. No, I have never heard a rumor like yeah. that. Well, I'm gonna <laughs> tell you it's the first thing I thought just sitting here. <laughs>
and you was like, come on, shorty. You already was know. Never. That's all the answer I, I hear got. you, though. I hear you. Ms. Johnson, that's... Your first friend is your sister. You know that in the family, right? You know, is it... No, is that your little sister or your that's older sister? That's my baby sister. So you were... You were the big sister... How, how many years separate Seven. y'all? Seven. So you were the big sister. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you were definitely her first friend. That's the first person that she played with. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay? So I can imagine that no matter how much y'all would argue, up one side and down the other, mm-hmm. she probably thinks that you're supposed to have her back. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, no matter how marriage turns out, She's still my family. And the day All right. that you have to bury one of your parents, mm-hmm. and I get very emotional about this, because mm-hmm. when I had to put my mother in the ground, the only person who I could depend on, I love my husband more than air. My son stood next to me, but my baby sister, that's who had my back. Mm-hmm. I could literally hear my mother talking in my ear when I said at her eulogy, I'm so proud of my sister and I because we have not had any arguments. I heard my mother say, because you're not supposed to. (laughs) So at the end of the day, no man should ever come between you and your sister, ever, at the end of the day. Mr. Calhoun, your wife brought divorce papers to court. Didn't you, Mrs. Calhoun? Yes, ma'am. Everybody thinks that I'm pretty much, like, over the situation and I'm done, I'm over him, I don't want family or nothing to work. But... Nobody knows. (laughs) Sorry. Um, nobody knows how hard this is. Like, legit. Um... It's a lot harder not being with you than actually being with you. Uh, I don't know (laughs) if you've ever loved anybody that much to where you feel like you're dying when you're with them because they're not getting... They're not getting it. So, yeah, I have to be done. (laughs) Corey, I understand that the divorce papers are in my chambers. Can you grab them, please? Sure thing. You brought them here? Yeah, they're here. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mrs. Calhoun, you actually filed for a divorce, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. Do you want them served? Yes. I need them served. Corey, serve the papers. Sure thing. <sighs> You've been served. I mean, this is a surprise to me because I didn't think that it would get this far. You know, Nobody but I... ever does, Mr. Calhoun. I, Nobody I... ever does. It got this far because the two of you neglected your marriage. Yeah. It got this far because you placed other people... I'm done. ...as a priority. It got this far because there's so much anger between the two of you, it's turned toxic. It got this far because the marriage may have run its but course. But people come back from this type of stuff. There's a time, from... a reason, and a season for every relationship. The time may have passed, the reason may be over, and the season probably has changed. You have my verdict. 